Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is T, short for Tiana, and oh my gosh, thank you so much for getting my last week's video to almost 2,000 views. You know, just growing up, I never thought that little middle school me could grow up to having that many views on a video, and I'm still in shock by it, so thank you so much for that. I literally, like, my inner child is so happy. Since the video did so well, and some of you are asking for a part two to do the other three fairies, that's exactly what we're here to do today. If you want an overview of the collection, you can go watch part one where we did Flora, Aisha, and Tecna looks. But for part two, we are doing Bloom, Stella, and Musa. Just like the last video, we're gonna be ranging from easy to intermediate to advanced looks, so let's get to it. The first Wings Fairy that we're starting off with is Stella for the easy look. Obviously, I'm eyeing the oranges and the yellow in this palette. First, I'm going to be taking a flat brush and dipping into the shade Sunbolt. And then when I'm going into my eye, I'm starting in my inner corner, keeping my eye open and just drawing out the shape. I'm kind of going to go like halfway right about here just before the middle of my eye because when we blend it it's going to get to the middle of our eye and then i'm going to take the same brush and the same shade and sunbolt and i'm going to start at my outer corner and i'm going to draw a wing shape out towards my temple bone taking my fingernail just to make it a sharper wing out there for the next shade we are going to be taking solaria with a dense rounded packer brush and yellow doesn't really show up on my skin that well, so I'm really packing it on, tapping out the fallout. So we're just gonna pack this all over our lid. We have yet to blend the orange shades, so just keep that in mind. And then I'm kind of bringing it up in between the two pieces of orange that I have going, like right above the crease. Now that I have this yellow packed on, I'm dipping into the shade Dragon Flame with a flat brush again tapping off the excess and I'm just gonna go right over Sunbolt just so I can deepen it up a little bit just following the line that I created and I'm not worrying too much about blending quite yet just because I'm gonna get there except when I'm doing the wing I'm taking a sharp angled brush and I'm dipping into dragon flame again and I'm just re going over Sunbolt from the earlier and I'm really making this more of a wing now now that I have my shades placed I'm taking a clean pencil brush and I'm just lightly blending between the orange and the yellow doing swirly motions windshield wipes wiper motions, and padding motions. In my last video, we talked about how to achieve a better blend, and that's by redoing the same steps that you've already done over again for another second or third time. So I'm just going over my wing, drawing it on with the orange dragon flame like we already did, and then I'm taking my clean pencil brush and I'm blending it in to the yellow. Just going back and forth. It's a bit repetitive, but trust me, it's so worth it. Now that we have our orange and yellow on, I'm going to be taking the shade Pure Magic with my finger, and I'm just going to be placing it in the middle of my lid very gently just to add a little bit more dimension. And just for that extra pop, I'm gonna be taking Pure Magic on a rubber brush and just putting that in my inner corner. And now I'm dipping back into Dragon Flame and I'm just gonna extend my wing on my lower lash line just a little bit because y'all know what I'm currently obsessed with this. And we're just going right underneath the wing just before the middle of our eye. And this is the final look inspired by Stella. This is our easy look for the video. I am also wearing the Icy Highlighter Light Sticks as well as the Stella Gloss. I really wasn't gonna add the Pure Magic shade at first, but I just love a good Super Shock shadow and a bright inner corner. And she has blue in her headband, so it was just perfect to do. Solaria is a vibrant pastel yellow matte sparkle shade. Sunbolt is a metallic soft tangerine shade. Dragon Flame is a matte orangey coral shade and pure magic is a teal violet opalescent duochrome finish super shock shadow 
Now that we've completed Stella's look, let's move on to the intermediate look. For our intermediate look, I am going to be doing a bloom inspired look. I am back with using a flat brush and I am dipping into the shade Dragon Flame. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm starting just above my crease and drawing a line that kind of wings out to the end of my eyebrow. Now using the same shade of Dragon Flame and an angled brush this time, I'm drawing a wing to connect the line that I've already drawn on. So we now have this sort of V shape going on with our eye. Mine ends at the tail of my eyebrow. Now we are taking a flat brush with the shade Sunbolt on it and we are just carving out a shape right above our crease. That's how I have to do it because I have a very deep crease, but again, we are just drawing this line. Feel free to do whatever suits your eye shape. Once you get to the darker orange with the lighter orange, I'm I'm drawing above the darker orange with the lighter orange and following the line that I drew with the darker orange. Once that's done, I'm taking the same brush and the same shade and I'm going into my inner corner and I'm just dragging it a little below my eye. Now I'm taking a small fluffy brush and I'm just blending out the edges and where the oranges meet. Now we're taking a smudger brush and dipping into Sunbolt and we're just going to gently blend the outside of the bottom part of this triangle just to give it a bit more dimension. Now we're taking a clean smudger brush and we're dipping back into the shade Dragon Flame and we're just going to go along right underneath our waterline on our lower lash line about halfway. Actually, let's go about like... We're gonna go more than halfway. We're gonna go right underneath the pupil. This is just like mascara for me. I always widen my eyes. There's gonna be like a smidge of space left between the light orange and the dark orange. And you're gonna take the angled brush now, dip into Dragon Flame, and we're gonna create a double wing. I'm just feeling fancy today, y'all. Starting at our outer corner and just flicking it out very carefully. You don't actually flick it. Take your time if you need to. And we're just gonna go like that. We're gonna go over it a couple times so it's more pigmented. Now it's time to add the teal. I'm gonna be taking my finger, dipping into Rising Tide. Look how gorgeous this is. Wow. Okay, now I'm just taking my finger and I'm just gonna be going over my eye. Kind of stopping like in the middle-ish, just over, just in the middle, really. And now I'm just taking a dense flat brush and blending the blue out a little bit just to get a good blend going. Notice how I don't fill it all the way to the end of the triangle. I just have a nice gradient going out to it on both sides. Now I'm taking a smudger brush, dipping into Rising Tide again, and I'm just going to put that in the middle between the two oranges on my lower lash line. After that, I dipped back into the angled brush and I'm gonna try and do my inner corner wing. It's gonna be very, very lightly just to bring more prominence in that area. And this is the final look for Bloom. Remember to always repeat your steps for a better blend and better pigmentation. I'm actually so much in love with this color combo as well. Like I said, with Stella's look, oranges and yellows always make me a bit nervous, but I feel like this turquoise just really brings the best out of it. We used Dragon Flame and Sunbolt in the last look, but the new shade is Rising Tide, which is a silvery turquoise metallic shade. Now that we've completed Bloom's look, let's move on to the last look of this video. For our last look of this video and the most advanced, we are going to be inspired by Musa. I'm definitely thinking like, this, this row and this pink are gonna be the main stars of the show. I'm going to try my best to incorporate this blue shade because it's the only shade of the palette I haven't touched. First, we are taking a dense flat brush with the shade Fairy Vibe, and I'm just gonna be going in my inner corner on my lid and pack it on there. I'm trying to keep this very tight on my lid because I don't have a ton of lid space and I wanna do something above, but now I'm doing the same thing in the outer corner with the same brush, winging it out just a a little bit. You need to be very precise when working with smaller lids like myself because if I'm not working very slowly on this color, it's just gonna go all the way up to my brow bone and I'm not gonna be able to do the rest of the design. Now just taking my finger pad, I'm dipping into the shade 
domino and I'm just going to go in the middle of my lid to bridge these other two pinks together, overlapping just a little bit on each outer and inner corner darker pink. And then you're just gonna take a small pencil brush and blend the two out a little bit sort of creating a halo eye effect. Now I'm kind of taking this more pointed pencil brush and I'm dipping back into the shade Fairy Vibe and I'm just gonna draw a little bit underneath like a straight line from the inner corner. And I have creases underneath my eyes, so I'm just kind of following the direction of that crease. I'm just swiping it on like we're drawing with a pencil. Same shade, same brush. I'm going to just about the last outer third of my eye and I'm just swooping it once again, really giving that fairy feel to this look. It's like an underneath wing. Same brush, same shade. I'm just going on the outer edge of my bigger wing and just cleaning it up a little bit just to sharpen it and i'm just smudging these out just a little bit just so they can be blended into the look a bit more dipped back into domino and i'm just drawing it underneath to bring the two pink lines together basically having our halo eye mirrored underneath now i'm taking this liner brush and i dipped into the shade sounds of melody keeping my face straight forward with the mirror I'm beginning to draw the beginnings of an arch. Stopping this line in the inner inner corner of my eye and I'm taking the same shade and the same brush and just drawing a arch at the very very top in the middle and we're keeping this middle part open. We're gonna have to go over it a few times just to get the pigmentation. Now that we drew these lines, I'm gonna be taking a thin liner brush again and dipping into the shade Linfea and I'm gonna be going directly underneath the lines that I've just drawn very carefully, just like that. Doing so in the inner corner as well, overlapping a little bit with the sounds of melody and bringing them a bit together. And I'm gonna be taking a clean flat brush and just gently going between both pinks to blend them at the top. And just to show y'all again about how hard I wanna push the double blend method is this eye, I've gone over it two or three times now, look how beautifully blended and colorful it is, whereas this eye, we're still working on it. Now I'm taking a damp Q-tip and I'm just gonna be cleaning up the top of the line that I created very carefully, just to have a cleaner cut. And I'm doing this on both sides, but not in the middle. Now I'm taking a pointed pencil brush again and I'm just going in between the glitter and the fairy vibe shade on our lower lash line. Now because I kind of want to make this look a bit more cohesive or holistic, I'm taking a pointed pencil brush and I'm going in between the wings on the outer corner with Linfea and just swiping it out. Now I'm taking a silicone brush with the shade Sonic Bomb because I just can't help myself but not use the lash shade that I haven't used in the palette. I'm just going underneath over the glitter in the middle that we already have. I just feel like it creates a bit more variety in this look. And I'm going to put Pure Magic ever so slightly in the inner corner just to tie the blue a bit more to this look. And this is the final look inspired by Musa. I also went ahead and took the Stormy Light Sticks and went over my Icy one just to show y'all all three of those as well. Just to go over the shades that we used in this look, we used Domino, which is a baby pink with rainbow glitter, Linfea, which is a matte warm baby pink, Fairy Vibe, which is a metallic vibrant fuchsia shade, and Sounds of Melody, which is a matte fuchsia shade. Thank you so much for watching. If you've been a subscriber, if you're returning from the first video, or if if this is your first video watching from me, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and to turn on notifications for the next video. Let me know which look is your favorite and I'll see you in the next video.